So what's the Chimera BMX e-bike? That's coming right up. Welcome to Run Playback. This week we're checking out something a bit different, the Chimera Electric BMX bike, available in two models, steel and titanium. Let's break down their features, go through the pros and cons, and decide if they're worth the hype. So let's get to it. I wanna know, like, how did you get into this? So I grew up um, out in the middle of nowhere in Tennessee with a dad who was from Detroit and he built a lot of muscle cars. I was doing the same thing. I was helping him build those muscle cars and kind of using the knowledge with tooling to build BMX bikes. So I was riding BMX bikes from, you know, when I was at a young age. I like the simplicity and the beauty of a BMX, right? No suspension, no gears. Most of the time, you don't even need brakes. You just get on this simple bike and you go and you ride it hard. There was nothing on the market that did what I wanted it to do. And so I sank my teeth into just engineering something interesting. First up is the Chimera Steel. It's built around a heat-treated steel frame designed for those who want durability. Paired with a 36-volt, 15-amp-hour removable battery, the steel hits a top speed of 26 miles per hour and can do 0 to 20 miles per hour in just 2.85 seconds. This translates to an amazing amount of torque right off the line. Magura CT hydraulic disc brakes and 24 by 2.3-inch slick tires ensure you've got the control and grip to match the power. Both the steel and titanium models feature an ASI BAC 855 controller and the patent pending high drive transmission system with a 3,800 watt rated 5,000 watt peak in runner motor for maximum efficiency. Yeah, so this is the new Shadow Chimera. We just launched this product on Tuesday and it is meant to be the more affordable version of the Titanium Chimera that we've been selling since our successful Indiegogo launch back in 2022. It comes with an accelerated systems BAC 855 controller. You guys probably know that brand from the controllers that soup up Surons. It comes with our proprietary high drive powertrain, which has a an in-runner motor that is capable of up to 5,000 watts, we actually run it up to 3,800 watts stock and a silent instant engagement transmission on either side, which allows the bike to be pedaled like a bicycle or throttled like a motorcycle. Also comes with Magura CT brakes. These can be upgraded to the MT. So we make our own stems, uh, our own stem fork bolt, and of course the frame fork, handlebar, and hubs. Those are all our design. The bike weighs 45 pounds, but runs it up to 3,800 watts. So a very impressive power to weight ratio. We thermally encase Samsung 50S cells inside of this aluminum case. So this is a battery that is much more shock absorbent, right? Um, water resistant, and most importantly, fire resistant and puncture resistant than other batteries on the market. When I saw this bike, the thing that I was really interested in was the, uh, the drivetrain and yeah. you kind of went over it a little bit, but can you kind of elaborate more on like how, what inspired this design? I know you guys are BMX guys, yeah. but yeah, tell us, tell us a little bit more about this thing. There were really only two major motor options sort of on the market. There were the hub drives and there were the mid drives. Now the, the hub drives seemed like a non-starter to us. They were too heavy and all of that weight was put in the back. So that's rotating weight. It made for a sluggish feel. And also those drives aren't very electrically efficient. The thing about mid drives is when you put those on your bike, you are then relegated to whatever cranks come with that mid drive. So you have to use their proprietary products. They're very, very difficult to work on and they have a particular mechanical inefficiency. So most mid drives on the market have like a 30 to 1 reduction system of a transmission. Right now we're running at a little under 16 to 1. Okay. So it's a much smaller transmission right. which allows us a larger motor right. which allows us pound for pound a much higher power system. Because we place the motor in the center and the transmission up here we left the bottom bracket alone which means you can use regular off-the-shelf bicycle cranks on this product and it's modular so if you ever need to swap out your transmission or your controller or your motor you can do that without messing with anything else on right. the bike 
that's much easier to work on than right. those mid drives that are closed box. You have to completely take them off and dismantle them. There's a primary and secondary chain. Is that what I'm seeing here, or is it? Is yeah. That how so, it works? so think of it kind of like, you know, this is your pedal chain, okay. right? And it drives this drive chain, but this is your main drive chain. Okay. So whether you're pedaling, right, right, or let me turn this on, or you're throttling, this is the chain that spins. Got it. It's just whether you want to use your leg power or your motor power. And Got the transmission it. lets you choose between those two things. I'm a fan of ASI controllers. 855, 855. Yeah. It looks to be like the perfect size uh, for something like this. And cooled by the air, since it's exposed like that, right? Is that the idea there? This sort of maximized the amount of airflow. Yeah. And it just made it so that like in the middle of summer, you're running hard, yeah. it just doesn't overheat. Stepping things up, the Chimera Titanium brings all the power of the steel model, but in a lighter package, thanks to its titanium frame. This model boosts a top speed of 35 miles per hour and can do 0 to 30 miles per hour in just 5 seconds, thanks to its 52 volt, 8.4 amp hour removable battery. This machine is built for incredible low end torque and lightweight agility. Magura MT5 hydraulic disc brakes and Kenda K Rad tires round off this flagship model. This is our flagship model, and in fact, this one has every upgrade that we have available. Right off the bat, even stock, you're gonna get titanium frame, fork, and handlebar, and automatically upgraded to MT brakes anytime you order the titanium model. Kenda tires, Kenda K rads. This uh, wheel is a, a, a lighter weight rim and double butted spokes to shave weight, you know, where you don't necessarily need it. We make our own titanium cranks that are CNC'd from a solid piece of grade five titanium. These are acid wash. That's why they have that weird matte finish that has a little bit of a bluish hue. Um, and these bolts are anodized. We anodize to any color available, you know, um, online. We also can do Cerakote. These are all titanium bolts. We actually designed and manufactured those bolts as well. That's part of an, an upgrade package. So every bolt on the bike is titanium. This is the 52 volt pack and all our packs can be unbolted using a thumb screw, right? So you don't actually need any special tools on the fly. It's just two thumb bolts. This keeps the pack incredibly durable on the bike. There's no rattle. Um, it bolts straight into these cones, titanium cones that have been welded into the frame. So the controller is the same, obviously. Uh, yeah. Drivetrain is the same. Tell us about the importance of titanium. Titanium is a lifetime material. It's nearly as strong as steel, but it's almost half the weight. Uh, uh, it is rust proof. You can anodize it, and honestly, I just think it looks killer. There's a lot of cool bikes out there. I have no shade on any of these bikes out there in the e-bike in the e industry. There's a lot of really cool e-bikes out there. But if you are looking for something with that dual use, it's not really meant to be a pedelec. There's no pedal assist, right? There's no display, there's no bulky wiring. You just want a clean bike that is either you're pedaling like a bicycle or you're throttling it like a motorcycle. We're the only game in town. Chimera steel, and I'm not throttling, just pedaling, and yeah, this is like really maneuverable, just like a regular BMX bike. Super easy to handle. It doesn't feel heavy at all, you know? It, uh, with like a hub motor or like a traditional mid-drive motor, it's like super heavy. And yeah, I don't get that. Yeah, this feels really, really good, just as a regular bike. If I rode this through the bike lanes in Ann Arbor, like no one would think twice. No one would think that this is an electric bike. I'm pedaling it like a regular bike. Let's put some throttle into it. Just ease into it. All right, there we go. Wow. Whoa! <laughs> Woo! Holy cow. Austin was right. This thing just delivers, delivers all the smiles. <laughs> you know, as the more affordable model um, or the less powerful model, I can't even imagine what the titanium feels like. <laughs> this is so dope. Whoa. Plenty of stopping power. Brakes are doing its thing. <laughs> Wow, I want, I want one of these, I want one of these. Woo. All right, so now let's check out the titanium version. You can already tell the weight difference between the two. 
just by riding it. Wish I had different shoes on. These shoes are not really the best for BMX. All these brakes feel great. It just feels just like the Suron. But on a BMX bike, it's so weird. But it feels somehow right at home. Hell yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy fast. <laughs> yeah, it's fast, that's for sure. With every electric bike, gearing is the limiting factor with everything. There's only one, one gear, so you can only go so fast. You either have torque or you have top speed, and there really is no happy medium. But this definitely, for a BMX bike, all you want is to be able to get up to speeds before you do your trick. It reminded me of the first time I rode the Suron. Right. The yeah. mid drive, the chain kicking in, and then you just, you know, it's just like. And then you're hooked. <laughs> you're hooked. I mean, you heard my reaction. It's one thing to see it and you kind of understand in your head, like, okay, the uh, chain works and then it pulls a gear. But when you actually feel it, it smiles. It's, yeah. You know. Oh, yeah, 100%. Smiles the whole time. There's bikes that say that if you run out of battery power, you could still pedal it like a bike. No, you can't. You know, it's too heavy. The weight distribution is off, the weight balance is off, but. I was pedaling this thing and it was fine. The titanium, I mean, I I eased into full throttle, but I definitely didn't hit a top speed by any mean. Um, but I mean, even just going like maybe 20, 20, 25 mile an hour, somewhere in between there, it was it was super quick, super fast, super punchy. And the throttle did exactly what you what you told it to do, which is exactly what you'd want. Oh, yeah. mega ride. Oh yeah, mega ride, you'd have no problem. <laughs> you'd be cruising with the with the pack. It would no be problem. like the sleeper bike. like Right, no uh, one would know. They'd be like, what? Be like, How's that thing gonna keep up? Hey, are you sure that thing's gonna <laughs> make it through the mega ride? and then you dust them off the line. <laughs> so here's what we like. Both models feature the high drive transmission system, offering unmatched efficiency and power to weight ratio. The minimalist BMX design combined with thoughtful, top-notch components results in a perfect balance between looks and performance. Also, the Chimera is a dream to handle, merging the simplicity of BMX with the thrill of electric power on demand. Also, both models offer a really unique feature, complete customization. Riders can mix and match any parts from both models to create a bike that perfectly aligns with their preferences and style. Whether you're after the affordability of the steel frame but crave the power of 52 volts, or you prefer only 36 volts matched with the lightweight agility of the titanium frame, Chimera has got you covered. This level of customization ensures that your bike is not just another model rolling off the assembly line, but a unique creation that stands out as a reflection of your personal style and riding needs. And here's some things to consider. Yes, the price tag is high, but these bikes are positioned as premium offerings in the EBM MX category, justified by their quality and customization options, the lack of suspension might turn off non-BMX riders, but that's the trade-off for a bike packed with this much raw power in a lightweight package. And full customization means patience is required for delivery, as each bike is hand-built to individual specs. Chimera clearly wants to avoid the average cookie-cutter assembly process. Overall, the Chimera both steel and titanium models are not your average e-bikes. They redefine what an electric BMX can be. Powerful, sleek, and built to extremely high standards, while they may not cater to everyone, especially given the price for titanium, they do offer an amazing riding experience for those who demand the best and are willing to pay for it. So what do you think about the Chimera? Is it the evolution that BMXers have been waiting for, or is it a niche too far? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. As always, if you want to dive into more EV tech tips, click the links on the side, and remember to like and subscribe so we can help you find tech deals that fit your lifestyle. We'll see you guys in the next video.